Hello and welcome to this video is Leonard here from DataLearner.com and in today's video tutorial I'm going to walk you step by step on how to trade features using the Bybit exchange. So if you are new to my channel and you love videos about making money online about crypto trading and investing then consider subscribing, hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published on this channel. So to get started Features trading is good, feature trading is risky, but you need to actually learn how to do all of these things. Basically, what I'm going to walk you through in this video is everything you need to know about the Bybit features trading platform and how you can actually use them, um, some of those features to start making some tools for yourself. So with that being said, you need a Bybit account if you want to sign up, if you want to start trading with the Bybit. And one of the reasons why I use Bybit because of the low fee that they charge and some other benefits that come with the Bybit exchange but basically in this video my focus is just on how to trade features with the Bybit and on the menu here once you log into your Bybit account if you don't have an account already the link will be in the video description to sign up for a Bybit account so once you log into your Bybit account and you come in here to the menu here we have derivatives this is where we are going to be seeing the features that we are trading and another way to um, Access this is if you look at the menu by the left hand side, if I click on it, you go to derivatives, you probably have access to that. And under the derivatives, there we have USD perpetual. What this simply means is that you need to have USDT to be able to trade features if you want to trade using the USD perpetual. Then we have the inverse perpetual. Inverse perpetual means that I can have my funds in Bitcoin, in um, Ethereum, or any other coin. It means that if I want to trade, with Bitcoin, I don't want to sell my Bitcoin, for instance, I have Bitcoin on my account that I want to trade with, I'll be trading with the inverse perpetual, and if I trade with Bitcoin on Ethereum, I'll be settled in Bitcoin on Ethereum. Why the USD perpetual, if I trade with USDT perpetual, I have to, I, I must have USDT on my account, and you know, trading with this means that I'll be settled in USDT. When the inverse, inverse feature, it means that you're trading features, uh, you know, the difference between features and perpetual is that um, on perpetual it doesn't have expiring date, why features has expiring date. So we'll go through all of this one after the other, but basically my focus in this video is on I just had to trade the USDT perpetual. Then we we'll have the USDC meaning you need to have USDC to trade options or the USDC perpetual, so you need to have USDC um, to be able to trade and you'll be settled in USDC. So our focus is on the you know, USDT perpetual, we can click here to access the trading interface or I come here to the arrangements at the menu and then click on the USDT perpetual to access the trading interface. So here we are and if I hover over this again, let me click on this. Here you see a brief description about what all of this is. Here we have perpetual contract using USDT as your collateral. And then on the inverse perpetual, you need to have a coin itself as Bitcoin, for instance, Bitcoin, Ethereum. And then the inverse features, features contract um, using coin itself as a collateral. So if you are trading features, it means that you need to trade in Bitcoin. You know, as you can see them here, BTC, um, USD, and then the expiring date attached to them. So if it is option, um, you go ahead and trade that with you know, USDC, and then if it is virtual, you go ahead and do that. So here on the trading interface, this is where we are. If I scroll down here, you see that I currently have a trade that is currently running, and the trade is already running in profit. So all I'm going to show you, walk you through about this, since I have a trade, I will only be explaining what all of these are to you. So here on the interface here, you will see your notification bar here you can go ahead and close this or if you don't want it but notification bar will always appear in between and then here is all of the favorite coins that you have if i want to be trading btc ethereum and the rest if i go ahead and click on this i can go ahead and favorite ethereum for instance if i favorite this um, you will see it, it will appear here any of these i favorite let me uh, favorite another one um, if i go ahead and do avalanche for instance if i favorite this you probably see Avalanche appearing here. This is like your shortcut to any of these tokens that you are favorite. So if I want to trade Avalanche, I don't need to start searching for Avalanche here. I'll just go ahead and click on it. The Avalanche USDT and it opens up the chart and I can go ahead and carry out my trade. So your, here is your you know, shortcut. Then this is the main menu of the website here at the top. 
and um, let me go back to BTC because BTC I want to trade. And so here, yeah, this is where you can actually assess all of the tokens you want to trade and select them. This is where you assess them. Then here is where you can carry out um, the current price. Okay, this is BIT. BIT is actually um, the native token of the by bid exchange so what i want to select is btc so let me select btc i didn't figure that so let me just go ahead and figure btc as well click this to figure out that so you see btc showing up here so once we are on the btc tab here the next thing is that you see the price and then you see the change in 24 hours here and then the high the all-time high in the last in the past 24 hours the low in the past 24 hours and then the turnover in USDT as you can see here uh, the turnover in the last 24 hours is over um, 474 million and then here because we are trading perpetual you see um, this funding rate the funding fee is exchanged directly between buyers and sellers every eight hours as you can see the countdown here will be uh, after this time that is counting down here so it is um, exchange between buyers, you know, between long position holders and short position holders every eight hours. And um, when the funding rate is positive, it means that the long position holders have to pay the short position holders. When the funding rate is negative, then the short position holders will be paying the long position holders. So it all depends on what this is currently showing. If it is showing negative, it means that you are, you know, getting a. Uh, on a short position means that you'll be getting paid for that. If it is showing positive and you're in long position, it means that long position will be paying the short position and so on. So that is what the funding rate is. Uh, the trading guide there, if you want to go through this, you just click on it and Bybe will just guide you on the interface of how to use this. And this is where you see your chart. On the chart here, we have, you know, um, the Express. If you click on the Express, it will load up the Express chart. Um, this is what the Express chart looks like. If you click click on the trading view it loads up the trading view chart for you where you can actually have some of these drawing tools here and you have more features when you're using the trading view then if you want to look at it with the depth if i click on this depth you see you know the buyers versus the seller so the green buyer is for the buyers and then here is the sellers so you can go ahead but i like using the trading view so that i will be bring the candle stick clearly and here is your other book you see pending um short orders and then pending by orders and then recent trades you see all of them here and then this is where at the top here where you have this this is where you can change your margin your margin between cross and isolated and then the leverage this is where you can do that so if i click on this cross here um on the cross you can see isolated and you see um, cross here when i trade with cross it means that whatever balance i have on my trading account that is what i am risking for that position i'm going to go for and then when i trade with isolated it should be only that amount of money that I'm ready to risk that, um, for instance, it will cost me $400 to open a position. It means that whenever I'm liquidated, it is only that $400 I'll lose. But when I use cross, and it, it will cost me the whole of my account balance, meaning that if I have $30,000 on my account and I am liquidated, I will lose the whole $30,000. So that is the difference between cross and isolated. And another thing you need to do is that make sure you set your leverage I use 100s leverage that doesn't mean that you use 100s leverage if you're a beginner make sure that you are using anything between 1x to 5x leverage so what leverage simply means is that if you are trading with a hundred dollar account and you're using 100x what that simply means is that you'll be trading like 10 times that hundred dollars which means you'll be trading around a thousand dollars worth of crypto so that is what leverage simply means make sure that you use it with leverage you can actually make faster money in the market and equally lose your money faster in the market so make sure you are using a very low leverage as a beginner and once you are confident with the market and you have enough funds on your account you can go ahead and you know open high leverage so once you set up your leverage the next thing you just click on this confirm to confirm that I just confirm that you see here that it is on the cross margin and then the long and short position is at 100x then down beneath it we have the before i show you this if you want to do calculations you know use your calculator to calculate what positions what it will cost you and the rest you can just click on this calculator icon here this is a calculator you can use this calculator um, space here to calculate what it will cost you to open a position 
how much profit you'll be making for instance basically i've done videos on how to use the, you know, the features trading calculator so to assess the calculator you just assess it here you see it here just click on it so the next thing to take note is your markets you know market, the other types here we have the limit on the buy bid we have just limit market and conditional so on the limit it means that you specify the amount currently the price is at 36 670 if you don't want to enter at this price you can go ahead and enter something that is lower for instance i can enter something that is lower than the, the seven four. so you can just go ahead and enter the amount here and then you know add the quantity in this case they're adding because i'm trading btc the quantity in btc if i put one here it means that i want to trade one btc and you'll see the amount it will cost you to trade one btc here um, at this price if i go ahead if i don't want to enter either one or two i can use this um, percentage column here if i use 10 percent it means that i am using 10 percent of my account balance to trade the market if i use 25 percent it means that i'm using 25 percent of my account balance to trade the market if i use 100 percent it means that i'm using 100 percent of my account balance to trade the market or you can just go ahead and just um, manually type the amount of bitcoin you want to you can go ahead let me see i want to type um trade 0 0.05 bitcoin you will see what it will cost you if i to trade this it will cost me 21 usdt to actually open this position if i want to if i go ahead and remove it and add 0 0.8 it means that it will cost me 33 to open this position so you always see the amount it will cost you where you have this open law here or open short you always see it there so whichever way if you want to hedge the market by opening long and short position it means it will cost you the same amount to open this position then down here is where you can set your take profit if i click on you know set um buy long with um, take profit and you can go ahead if you want to take profit let's say i want to take profit when this market increases by 150 percent i can go ahead it means that if i enter at this price at 36 um, 675 it will need the market will need to go to 37 307 for me to be able to make um 50 dollars and then if i want to sell my profit uh, my stop loss if i do put five percent if the market draws by 36 654 i'm going to be losing about a dollar and then if it is 10 percent i want to risk i'm going to be losing about three dollars meaning that the market needs to draw by 366 33 if it is 50 percent the market needs to draw by 36 400 to lose 16 dollars if it is 75 the market needs to draw by 36 6, 35 um 36,000 36, you know, dollars to be able to lose 25 dollars and so on so you can go ahead and use the slider or just type in the price at which you want to set your stop loss and after that you go ahead and open your know, long position if you want to set take profit and stop loss for short position you go ahead and check this as well and it will give you the option to set that for, for your short position and after that you go ahead and open your short position so basically this is all you need to know about you know using that if you don't have phones on your buy on your buy bit um, if you don't have phones on your buy bit features account you can just click on this transfer asset and then you can transfer asset from your spot account to your derivatives account so you just transfer by just clicking if i click all here i can go ahead and confirm this and this will transfer all the funds i have on my spot account to my you know features account and that will be added there and you can start trading with that then to come to the open trade already now the other um other type you see here is conditional conditional means that you can go ahead and add a trigger price when the market in, um, let's say when the market is at 30 something or whatever you want you can go ahead and enter here and um, enter the quantity you want to trade and go ahead and open long or short this will be pending it is going to be pending until the market hits that target before that can actually go in your favor so the next thing now is on the current trade once you open any trade the trade will be here you'll see it on where it says position so you see position if it is a pending order you see um, on active it will be here if it is conditional you will see it on the conditional tab here so if i come in here to the um, position here you'll see that we opened a position B btc usdt that is the position we opened and we are using cross margin and the quantity of bitcoin we traded was one the value is about three thirty six thousand one hundred and eight dollars and then the entry price was at thirty six one hundred and eight so the con um the market price currently 
is at 36,900. That is why you see this amount of profit here. And then the liquidation will be liquidated. Remember, because I'm trading with the whole balance of my account, that is why the liquidation is this far. The liquidation price is this far because I am trading with the whole balance I have on my account and I'm using cross margin. So that is why the liquidation is this far. If, if it was isolated, the liquidation would have, would have been closer. And this liquidation will continue to change based on the direction of the market. So position margin, it costs us actually 387 to open this position. And then right now we have this profit. This is the profit we are making. And then the daily real, realized P and L that you are seeing right here is um, actually based on the fee we will be paying and then the funding rate. So all of these are calculated here. So at the end of the day, when I close this trade, after this is deducted, you will see that the profit we are making will be lesser than this 800. So if I scroll to my right here, if I scroll to my right, we have the take profit and stop loss tab here. So I've not added the take profit and stop loss. If I want to do that after placing the trade, that is if I don't add it from the onset, after placing the trade, I can come in here to say add. And I can go ahead, let's say I want to take profit at uh, 150, which is more than that. Let me just go ahead and put 87 here. So, and then put a stop loss somewhere here. And go ahead and confirm this. So once I confirm that, you see the take profit and stop loss has been added. So once this market hits 37,730, it will automatically take profit for us. Then trailing, um, the trailing stop on Bybit, you can't see it on the other type here. You only see it after you've placed a trade. So what trailing stop simply means is that um, if I come in here to my trading view, for instance, what trailing stop simply means is that if my stop loss is somewhere around here, and my take profit is somewhere around there. Once I put a trailing stop, so once I come in here to add trailing stop, once I click on it, it will ask me to ask price retracement. So when the price starts retracing, let's say by 2000, for instance, if I add by 2000 or 20 or 50 or whatever I add there, it means that when the price starts retracing, whenever the price keeps moving up, my trailing stop with the stop loss will continue to move up with it. So it will only start uh, take close the trade when it drops to whatever uh, number that I put in here, whatever amount that I put in here. That is how to use trailing stop. So once you go ahead and set in trailing stop, that will be added here. And basically that is it. If I want to close this trade right now, I can just close it with the market order or use limit order. So when I, I use limit order, it will ask me to specify the price. I can go ahead and use that or use market order by just closing it now and I'm good to go so basically that is how to carry out futures trading with bybit i hope i, I explained everything there if there's anything you don't understand you can use the comment section to ask a question and if you want to learn more about um, crypto trading how to trade futures um profitably join us um you know daily zoom meetings by joining the telegram group um the link to join the telegram will be in the video description join the telegram there we post you know meetings uh, that, that, that is where we post our zoom link where you can join the daily zoom meeting and learn more on how to trade this there you have the opportunity to ask your questions and get answers and so on so that is all i have for you in this video and i'll see you guys in the next video